Hi everyone, this is Nicole. Welcome back to my video. Today I'm here with Queen & Company using the June kit. So every couple months Queen & Company comes out with a fun themed kit. Uh, this one here is based on the premise of a party or birthday theme. So I'm using that kit um, to complete everything on this project. So I've just, as you can see here, I've just cut some simple squares from some of the pattern paper. Um, this kit came with a pad of pattern paper. There's a set of dies. There's also some foam fillables for our words you can make shakers out of them as well as some fun fillers you can see I have a few little envelopes there um, some baggies with some of the fillers in them and I'm also the only thing I'm adding in for this kit is this glue it's some really fun glue that um, Queen and Company supplies it's really tacky it's a, it's like a clear adhesive it's called sheer glue and I'm going to use that to adhere some of those fillers into our flowers so as you can see here I have a whole bunch of die cut flowers and uh, this is from a digital die cut and I'm just going to layer those onto my page over top of all those little squares that I've cut so I have different colors I have I've used kind of the B sides from the pattern paper uh, pack and I'm cutting I cut them out of yellow and there's an orange color there's a red and there's also a pink so I'm just taking some liquid adhesive and I'm just adhering those down and layering a smaller flower to the center you can kind of see a better uh, idea of the colors here I'm just adding some foam adhesive behind the smaller flowers and I'm actually curling up the edges just slightly just to add a little bit of dimension from the paper it's really really pretty uh, color palette and the patterns there that I have the larger squares in the background um, one's a polka dot and one's like a bit of a multicolored triangle so it draws all those colors from these florals together in those little patterns there so I'm just going to stick these flowers down and a lot of this is just getting the basics down and then I'm going to start filling things up with the flowers um, with some of the embellishments. So like I said, I'm going to use some of those fillers there that are in those little baggies as well as some other cleaning company embellishments you can buy um, just to embellish the rest of the page. The hardest part was really just getting all the little die cut pieces done and then filling it all up. I think this page took in total about just over 30 minutes to to complete uh, aside from all the die cutting separately. So now I'm going to grab that sheer glue that I talked about and I'm going to add that to the center of some of my flowers one at a time um, and then I decided to add another flower to the center here and this glue is good for paper too so I don't have a lot of it so I'm trying to be careful and just use it when I need to so but you can use it definitely to stick down paper as well it's very tacky um, so I'm just going to add this little flower really quick and then I'm going to fill in the center of that flower and just dump in as a little filler. So this is like a little, um, I want to call it, I want to call it a little sequin, but it's more of like, it looked, it reminds me a lot of a cupcake sprinkle. It's like a longer um, little bead. And so I'm going to do the same thing here on this larger flower. In this case, I'm going to use these little tiny fillers that look like little tiny butterflies. You'll be able to see at the end of the video, I'll show a close-up. So I'm going to start off with some of those little butterfly shapes. And then I'm going to use my filling plate here just to fill in the tiny little beads that I have. It's just like the yellow. It's kind of like a little cupcake sprinkle almost. And so I'm going to use that to fill in the gap between where those little butterflies don't really show up. And then I'll use the rest of it here on the right side of my layout. With This is the pink kind of sprinkle. So I'm going to add that to the center. These add a really, really easy, great texture and fills in the center of that flower really quite quick, quickly, as you can see. And then because I have some left over um, on this tray, this tray is really great. You can just dump it right back into the baggie quite simply for storage. So you, it doesn't take a lot of time to um, clean up off your workstation. I'm just going to clean up some of the little bits that have fallen off in my process here. I'm going to save all these because what waste not, want not. And then from here, I'm just going to add a few other little bits to my page. I have some of the teal blue uh, filler, and those are little, almost look like tiny little butterflies as well. So I'll end up adding a few of those scattered throughout the back of my project. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of that those flower areas with some Queen & Company embellishments. You can see I'm just missing some areas here in my flower when I filled it. So I'm just adding a little more of that clear adhesive and filling in the gaps.
So here's a little close-up of how that looks. So you can see I've added some other cleaning company embellishments to the background, but really simple way to fill in the center of any sort of die cut shape um, that you may have. And so that's it for me today. I hope you're inspired to pick up the June kit and use it on your projects.